nothing but the dog in me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little little tips at the end. Okay. Thank you. You know, it's never never a bad thing, right? Yeah, no, thanks. Good evening and welcome to Pound Posse Presents. Um, back again after what about three weeks? Yeah, it's been three weeks. Three three, yeah. three cancellations. <laughs> um I have a wonderful guest with me tonight who has been so patient uh through all of the rescheduling yeah. <clears throat> and um I certainly can't thank you enough. With me tonight is Shauna Lee Kwajnak. Yay! Hi. Yay! <laughs> um, portraits by Shauna Lee. And really, just thank you so much for being so patient. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, Shauna Lee is someone who I noticed several years ago did a little piece in my column about mm -hmm. something you were doing. Uh, saw you again recently. The Voices newspaper mm -hmm. did a piece on you, and I said, "Hey, I want to have her come on." Oh, that's thank you. I'm really excited cool. about this. I am too. I'm. I'm actually excited that we're actually doing this. Yay! We got here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> by hug or by crook, we did it. Yeah. Um, anyway, Shauna Lee, you are so talented. Um, your 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 work is just amazing. Oh, thank um, you. You are very fortunate in that you get to combine two of your passions, yeah. animals and art. Mm -hmm. And I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a talent, right? Yeah, right? Um, but really, to, to do what you do, I mean, I, I loved to draw at one point in my life. And, mm -hmm. you know, of course, animals are always my thing. And you just get to do it every day. I do. And yeah. that's, that's amazing. Um, you get to connect to people and animals mm -hmm. in such a very personal way. Um, it's so much fun. It's got to be very fulfilling. It is. I love it. And I, I can only imagine, like, just that whole thing of you're doing, you're doing someone's pet, and you watch it come alive, and then you watch the person's reaction. Oh, that's the best. I that's, love it. That's got to be that's, so... It's very, very rewarding. That's got to be awesome. How did it all start for you? Um, it started when I was actually very, very small. I loved, we had lots of cats and dogs. We had everything, even skunks in the basement. And <laughs> I loved them all, and I wanted them to be with me forever. So I would just draw them with my crayons and coloring books and watercolor sets. And that's certainly, that's, you know, one way to do it is yeah. to draw them. Yeah. And when you're a kid, that's... That's what you have. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what you have. And it, I bet you it made your parents happy because it kept you busy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, aside from knowing that, you know, the drawing and animals was, was something you wanted to do, where did it go? I mean, did you go to Where'd school? Where did it go? Did you? Um, it stayed with me, and I, um, I always did great in art classes. I got all A's, and I loved it. It was my favorite class to be in. And um, when I was in high school, I was invited into the AP class which is which is advanced placement yep. art and I got a five from the college board which is the highest score nice um, and I went on to graduate from Western Connecticut State University with a degree in illustration and printmaking Wow and I got cum laude good for you um, so, so you you were definitely you knew that that was yeah. your path oh yeah there was no ifs ands or buts yeah that's that's just way cool and in 2011 we determined Yes. You did the mural for the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. I did. That, um, that's where I noticed you, because I saw that come up. Um, how did that happen? How did that happen? Well, you, first of all, you have to understand, my family, we all love animals. And any stray that would go through the yard, it would go, are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you sure you're not Italian? Hey, you want to eat? Come on. <laughs> So there's my father still living in Ridgefield, and for whatever reason, the cats knew to go to his house. They were fed. They always know. <laughs> and before long, one cat was two, then three, then ten, then then the numbers got up to uh, they got really high, and then they kind of leveled around fourteen. And my brother gave me a call, and he says, "Shauna, Dad's spending all the money on the cats, and he's <laughs> eating." rice for dinner <laughs> oh, no. 
And you know, that happens <laughs> so often. Yeah. That really yeah. does. And of course, there's kittens everywhere. And um, I, I loved going, bringing my children down. Let's go play with granddaddy's kittens. <laughs> And several of them came home with us. Oh, yeah, well, that's inevitable, huh? Yeah, but, but push comes to shove, and I go, oh, dear, we really need to get them spayed and neutered. And I spent several weeks calling lots of places across Connecticut, and I felt most comfortable with Dawes, and they were wonderful. They helped us. They gave us um, the container, the traps, yep, the have and it, you know, helped us because the cats, they were... They would go near my dad, but they wouldn't go near anyone else. Right. So my brother was able to capture them and um, bring them to Dawes one or two at a time. And they took good care of them. Um, they came back. The cats weren't traumatized. The cats were happy. My brother was happy. He was able to come and go. And they, they were just so wonderful about all of it. And I thought, oh. I love that's them. That's my place. I love them. Yeah, that's my place, right? And yeah, and then um, Donna Esposito at the time was the uh, director, and she says, "Hey, I, I noticed your email has artist in it. Um, we wouldn't happen to be able to do a mural for us, would you?" And that's I. I was like, "Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. hello." Yeah. <laughs> and then of course I I got really excited about it. And I says, "Well, let's d make this a mural about the animals that were adopted." through the shelter. Sure. So we sent an email out to everyone, and that night my email was on fire. I'll bet. I Everybody got, wants a piece oh of something God, like that. Oh my God, I got more than 100 submissions in several hours. I'm glad my husband's in IT, because I'm like, my, e my, my computer's having a little problem <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, then it was really tough, because then I had to decide, oh, I can't put them all in there. Right. And I was up all night reading all the stories. Aww. Some of them made me really happy. Some of them made me cry. Some were like, oh my god, I want to do this one. And um, So I, I spent some nights thinking about it. And one morning I woke up, and it's like I knew what the mural was going to be. I just knew it. And mm. then I knew which pictures I was going to, um, I had printed up. And I said, okay. So I went in with my paints and my pencils and um, I freehand drew the whole thing. That's amazing. And it, the, the progression, it took six months from start to finish, but part of that was um, planning the opening reception. Okay. Um, you know, and it, it went pretty quick. And then, of course, being an artist, I got fussy. Yeah, well, you, you constantly have that urge to tweak things. Yes. And you know maybe just a little bit of this or a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do know. Um, we actually have some pictures of the mural in progress. Zach, we have those. Yep. yep. So let's talk about what we've got here. Yeah, that's the first day when I um, I took my charcoal pencil and I just freehand sketched out everything. And then I taped all of my reference pictures up so I would have that have it close at hand. Because in between painting sessions, I'd have to go home and the shelter was open for, right. for visitors to adopt the pets. Um, Next up. That was the second day. You I did all that like in a day? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. Paint, paint flew. And That's amazing. And those are and those are just all like the pictures of of the the animals that you chose yes. up against the wall yes. and you just went at it. Yeah. Next up, Zach. Another further progression. Mm -hmm. Next up. I'm so glad I took the pictures of the progression because it's it's I think it's fascinating to see how it progresses. I love the way around the fireplace. It starts out looking like stones. Yeah. And you got little faces popping up in there. I wanted to get as many of the animals in as I could. So yes, the, every stone around the fireplace has a different little personality. That's, that's and, just beautiful. And I don't know if, it, if people can notice that kitty cats on the mantle. If you've, you know, all, of, all of you have had pets, but there's always one cat that just doesn't like the chaos of a dog you know, playing. Yeah. So you can see that cat, Her, she's got one ear tilted back, and she's twitching her tail. Uh -huh. And she's like, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a cat, a but true cat. A true cat, a true cat. And then the other cat's like, eh, 
I'm, I'm yeah. above this. Some of them could care less, and some of them yeah. are just like so on guard. And then the two dogs on to the right of the fireplace, they're just warming themselves and just, just chilling and relaxing. That's just, it's such a lovely feel to that, you know? Yeah. What do we have next, Zach? We wanted the mural to be something warm and welcoming and and ma to make people feel happy and comfortable. Sure. And that, that's what helps the animals, too, the it dogs does. and the cats. It really does. If everybody's calm and everybody's sort of in the same yeah. place, it, it feeds into the animals. It does. And they show better it, it because, does. unfortunately, a lot of them don't show well, <clears throat> well in a shelter. I think shelters are stressful for them. Oh, absolutely. I love the cat in the corner with a balloon. Yeah. That's, um... I, I, I had to put that one in there. And oh. there's a story behind that. We, um, we had a, a cat that we adopted, and she loved balloons. So we would get her those big Mylar balloons, and um, she would walk from room to room and follow us and mm -hmm. carry that balloon in her mouth. And we thought, this is crazy. Is she really going to do this? So my husband and I was like, well, let's walk to the other room and see if she follows us. And we did. And she, and she grabbed the balloon and came with us. And that's just, that's amazing. And she would sleep curled up with a balloon. So when I got that photograph submitted to me with the cat playing with balloons, yeah, I thought. Yeah, you knew it, it I was knew meant it, to be. It was yeah. meant to be. Exactly. Uh, what else do we have in this series? Anything left? Okay. So that's the end of those. Um, so we'll take the camera back. And that's just that's that's just amazing that that the, the to see the progression, um, yeah. and you said that that took how long? About six months. Yeah, that's from start to finish. But you did so much in just a day. Yeah, that's, you know, that's you're amazing. Thank you. I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you do still donate a portion of your commissioned works. Yes. To Dawes. Yes. And um, I think that's really really cool thing to do thank today. you um we have some other pictures uh let's see where would we like to start let's um put up what you got zach i know we had so many and we had a little bit of chaos here tonight that's oh, the have, one you have with you yeah yeah let's let's have the camera back for a hot second yep see oh. that's the one right there very yeah, hold neat. it up like this yep mm -hmm. No, that's I good. had some. This is from the Dawes Walk. I am. Um, I'm. I go and I have a little booth there, and I, I like to go around and take photographs of the pets and just go home and paint yeah, them. Yeah, just go ahead and paint them. Right. And I was trying a new style of painting where I'm. I'm curious about how they painted in the Renaissance. Yeah. So I did this painting doing the um, a grisaille, which is an underpainting of um, darks and lights. And then I glaze color on top, and I'm in love with the process. Yeah, it did. That's I'm really in love beautiful. With it. All right, Zach, let's pull them back up. And you can just like kind of poke through them. That's a sweet face. That's a charcoal, or not charcoal, a, um, a graphite drawing that I did. Okay. I love this little guy. Yeah. Oh, he. My little chihuahua thing. I have two they mixes. Have the they have such intense eyes. They do. And that, that's Pandora. Um, she was an oil painting. That's Roxy. She went to the Dawes Walk. I she, love her little fangs. <laughs> she, looks like, <laughs> she looks like she's ready for Halloween. Oh, my God. She has so much energy. And that's a, a, a pencil of a little dog. And then, like of course, that the, the, hap too. the happy German Shepherd. Oh, my yeah. God. What a smiler he was. And he knew. And I whipped out that camera. I swear that dog knew it. Oh, he yeah. Some of them are smiling. Oh, my God. Some of them are just, like, on from that the was, That was from life. I okay. sketched that. The dog was just in front of me, and the people were talking. And I just started sketching. You just started going. From life, yeah. Very cool. I love that oh, face, Oh, that's too. Dodger. Dodger's a special story. He looks, he that, looks like a sweet dog. That took two or three years to do because Dodger came to my booth and I sketched him. And then the following year, I saw him again uh -huh. and I sketched more. Aww. And then the family came and said, you Can know. Can you finish it? Well, they, um, he, he had a good life and Aww. they were glad to have the picture. Oh. And I, I added um, the colored pencils to it to enhance it. And it's just such a feel-good story. Yeah. That they had that. That you were able to do that. Yeah. I love this one, too. There's a lot of that's detail That's a charcoal. Here. Oh, my God. I love the fur on that dog. And that's Bo. He's a German Shepherd. And, um, those are 
um, graphite with colored pencil, just enough to just give a little hint. Sure. And they're matted. Keep going, Zach. Yeah, just go ahead. We'll roll with whatever you oh, got. Oh, there's my Tammy. Yep. We After a conversation we had, you had some like added thoughts yeah. to what your beginnings were. My beginnings. That I was a very small child, and that was one of my earliest cats that we had. She was black with little yellow dots, and I don't know what made me think of it, but I just did a quilt, a pattern quilt on her when I painted her. So that was very early. Yeah, that's and, and look how far you've come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Zach. Oh, this is a, um, a start to finish drawing process that I did recently of a dog. You can see where I, the lay, um, mm -hmm. how it progresses. And it was, I was cold that day, so I had gloves on. Yeah, I the noticed fingertips. You had gloves. I was yeah. cold. It's just so nice to watch it come to light. Yeah, and that's why I'm using the kneaded eraser. For artists that are out there, I love the kneaded eraser. I'll I get remember in there. those. Yeah, they're my favorites. And there's the finished. Oh, oh I've got wait. that one. Yep. I've got that one here. We had That's um, an Irish Jack Russell that went to a blessing that I attended. Yeah, we kind of jumped there. I had the finished picture. Keep going, Zach. Oh, there's the beginning of that oil painting. Yeah. We're, we're a little disjointed only because we got, we got shorted our, um, our time in the booth. Go ahead. That's all right. It's great That's to see right. the progression. Keep going. And this is an oil painting. You can see where I get really detailed with the layers, and then I, I did glazes on top. And this little dog had so much energy. The people were holding it, and Jack Russell's, they're just so full of it. So they're holding yep. it, and the dog's, like, jumping out Keep into going. life. Oh, there's, okay. oh, there's, yeah. there's a photograph of the that, sketch example. That goes with the other one. Yeah, yeah. We, we failed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. It just, <laughs> you're challenging everyone's memory. And this, oh, there's red. This is another one of your early my, uh, my paintings. My very early pieces. Um, red, yeah, you were just From a me small that. child's perspective. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In living color, so to speak. And then, yeah, and what's interesting is even as a small child, I knew to blend the colors because yeah. uh, I used reds and yellows because he had this rich, rich orange fur. Uh-huh. So you didn't just, like, take the orange and make it right. orange. Yeah. Right, I blended. And this is beautiful. You do really wonderful horses, too. Thank you. That's, that was my favorite thing to do all through my childhood yeah. and into high school. It's just nothing but horses. Keep going, Zach. Oh, that one's beautiful. I just finished that oil painting this past December. Did you really? Yeah. Keep going. I know we have a lot of stuff still in there. Oh, wait. Oh. Not, that one we'll save hold, that for yeah, later. Save that for last, Zach. I love this. I love the feel of this picture. Oh, thank you. That was at a hunter pace. That was a thoroughbred and. You know, I, I, had, uh, I fell off my horse and I couldn't ride, Aww. so I took photographs and I did lots and lots of paintings of, of the day. And I love your little thumbnails of the German Shepherd dog. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. And those are, those are little ones. The, the finished painting was much, much larger. Uh -huh. Those are just little, little practices just to see, you know, what it was that I liked about right. it and it would bring out the dog the most. Keep going. And there's my I Bootsy and this. Frost. Now the kitty cat on the bottom there, that's the Frost her, um, that carried the balloon around. Okay. And we had this old, you know, cow cat from New Hampshire that we had. His name is Bootsy. And he mothered her, and she just ate it all up. You can tell the look on her face. Oh. You captured just, like, the complete contentment. Yes, that's... That's, that's what I love to get in my artwork. That's my favorite part, yeah, this, is to find that. This is just a beautiful picture. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, and this is, it's an award-winning piece. Is it? Yeah. I'm not surprised. I did that with pen and ink. Did you? Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Um, what else we got? Oh, you, my you kids. also do sculptures? Yes, but we had that deep, deep snows. Like, that's it. I have to do something. We may, My kids might never see this again. Yeah. I'm making a snow horse. That's, and that's what you, crazy. What you can't see is that there's a rake hidden inside the head because oh. I needed to have a structure yeah. inside of it to hold it. So I took all of the yard tools and put it in there. And oh, well, you know, you didn't want it to be like, you know, the godfather with when, the horse. When I told my kids, come on now, it's time to ride, they all grabbed towels because they knew it would be a cold seat. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. I didn't even think of that. I saw that and it didn't even register. Yeah. What else we got, Zach? That's oh, beautiful. Those are our current cats. Happy is the one in the background, and Jumper is the one that keeps jumping my lap when I'm talking to you on the phone. Okay. That was also during that deep snow. Um, these two cats, they're big cats, and they wanted to go outside. And you open the door, it's like, yeah, you're going to go out? No. 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 <laughs> so my, my daughter put the stool next to the window, and two big big cats shared this little stool and I thought that was hysterical oh yeah but then this bird started to fly around looking for a place to land oh and it was just beautiful how the light was shining in and their intent expressions and, the and poor so bird I just, stuck out so I snow. took a ton of photographs and then I knew I had to do yeah. something the look you you know they're looking at something yeah oh yeah um we've got maybe what seven minutes or so yeah um, as we're doing through these pictures, do you want to um, start your drawing? Yeah, sure. Um, what else we got for pictures, Zach? Some more horses. Oh, that was a horse from Hidden Acres. I, um, I helped them out at their um, Night of Caring event. That was so much fun. So many wonderful people. Yeah, there's my booth. I got to work next to amazing etchings at the museum oh yeah. my god it was awesome it's it's you know even though that as as accomplished as you are oh there's Frodo I'm sorry to That's interrupt okay. you look there's a ring up there yeah my, my daughter said you can't paint a dog named Frodo and not have a the ring. ring yeah <laughs> that's <So>. great <gasps> Uh, but yeah, as accomplished as you are to work next to or you know get to meet people who have the like um, you know, mm -hmm. mission in life or, or whatever I'm trying to say. I have no idea. Um, I'm watching you. <coughs> Excuse Let me. See. Now, who is this little dude you've got here? Um, the picture? Jack, can you put that? That's a, such <gasps> a nice picture. Oh, that was the kid I babysit and his puppy you know, from the time I was a little girl. I actually did that when I was a teenager. Yeah. It was a pencil drawing. Wow. And this was that was at the blessing. You yeah. see the two horseshoes. That's her horse, yep. Sassy. Those are her Aww. shoes. Okay, Kelly. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna okay, get sketching. So we're just gonna pull Kelly up, and you know we can take the camera back. We just want the audience to see. Um, Let's see, the, there's a blank piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing up my Nothing. sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's fun. This picture is actually the picture we just showed um, on camera. And, uh, you know, the, the really cool thing is that you've got no problem drawing on demand. No. And so we're kind of going to prove that. Uh, you know, you did mention that there's been times you've talked to people and just kind of mm -hmm. started drawing. I love so it. Here we go. Um, while you're doing that, what uh, what is your latest craze for your favorite medium? I'm in love with charcoals right now, and I'm finding that I'm really enjoying um, getting into the oil paints as well and playing around with that. So it's kind—I of, guess it's more than one media, but I really love the charcoals. Yeah, they're my friends right now. It's it's very cool just to watch this from my perspective because I'm I'm seeing it happen. Um, so can you basically walk and chew gum? Can you give us your contact information uh, if anybody wants to find out more about you while you're doing your drawing? Um, sure, sure. My sure she can. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that in her voice. Um, my, the best way to contact me is um, artist at shaunalee.com or to go to www.shaunalee.com. And you do have a Facebook page. I do. Um, where a lot of your stuff is I've up. Hot off the easel pieces <sighs> yes. go there. And that is Portraits by Shauna Lee. 
and that's S-H-A-W-N-A, capital L-E-E. -E. I'll help you out a little bit while you're drawing because I can see Bang. you're like very intense. Oh my goodness, am I? <laughs> <laughs> um, but really, you're, you're so fortunate, again, like I said in the beginning, to be able to do um, your, your passion for animals and your passion for art and marry the two of them and, and make a life out of it which is just something I think that's almost fairy tale. People don't get that. People don't get to have that. I think it's cool. And I think I love it. I love it for you. I mean, I think no, everybody very fortunate. Yeah, I wish everybody in life could have that. You know what I mean? Um, what a wonderful world that would be. Um, how much time do we have left, Zach? Okay, so we still have time. Um, what a wonderful, pull a picture of Kelly up again, just for, just for reference. And that's like I said, exactly the picture that Shauna Lee has in front of her now. Do you need a peek now? Um, I think we got a minute or so, right? I'm, I'm, I'm like, it's not fair because I'm getting a watch. <laughs> We'll take the camera back. And I'm just curious as to what all, all the tools of the trade are she's got. Oh, she's, oh there's her needed eraser. My needed eraser. I do, I remember those. After I do the charcoal, I like to do a little bit of smudging and then I like to lift out the lights. And I find that working, working that way, it gives me a lot of depth to the picture. And I know exactly what you're talking about, which is really funny. I, I loved art class. This is like such the best guess. I mean, art, Zach and his art and my appreciation for it. And you're just amazing. And it's just a really cool show. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Well, we'll have to get, we'll have to get Shauna Lee and Zach together again. Yeah. Um, that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Zach's in there. I like, want to yep. see originals next time. <laughs> Zach's like, yep, that would be great. Aww. What do we got for time? Because I want to be able to show this. I'll just keep sketching. Okay. Are you ready to show yeah, the world sure. what we got? Here's. Can you just bring this over? Can I? Can we see that? You can see it. Yeah. All right. We're getting the hook. <laughs> so we're going to say peace, oh. love, and I'm going to say dogs. And kitty cats, too. And kitty cats, too. Shirley, <laughs> thank you You're so welcome. very much. I really appreciate it. Good night, everybody. Night.